This is the weirdest looking saxophone strap I've ever seen. Hi, I'm Donna from DonnaSchwartzMusic.com, the site to boost your playing up to the next level. So I was contacted by the makers of Hooky, that's H-O-O-K-I, it's a saxophone strap. I was contacted by uh, the creators of this because they wanted me to check it out and possibly do a product review, and that's what this video is going to be. So my first thought was, what is this? <laughs> and then my second thought was, this kind of reminds me of a guitar strap where you put it along your side and it has no contact with your neck. And that's the point of this. All right. So there's no weight of the saxophone on your neck with this strap. Now it's not a harness. It's not a neck strap. They just call it a strap. All right. So let me go over the parts of this first. And then I'm going to show you how to put it on. I know it's a little weird. At first I was like, what do I do? Okay. Messing up my hair and everything. All right. So, uh, the hooky it's cause it hooks around. All right. And you're going to be putting it around yourself instead of on top. You've got this aluminum, this really durable aluminum tube that takes the weight of the horn. So it's in a, a specific proportion to do that. This tube is not bendable. I have to say that this is not like, um, some of the other types of harnesses out there where you can bend it you know, for comfort, you can't do that. All right. You've got these two flexible pieces in the back. Um, I'm not sure what the material is on this. It's probably some kind of, um, maybe neoprene or something to that effect, but they are very comfortable. I've got to say, and they can move up and down, uh, sideways, all that kind of stuff. By the way, you'll want this so that one piece is close to the end of this strap and the other piece is about an inch to an inch and a half away. Okay, going to the front of the strap, you have this piece over here. Um, this it's very flexible, so that's a good thing. Um, and it's got the name of a name of it, the hooky. And this basically holds on to the end of the aluminum tube. And it also has it also contains the string for the strap. Now the strap adjusts over here with this buckle. Very simple, simple mechanism up and down. If you don't have enough uh, room to move. Just go to the back of the strap. You've got this knot over here. You just loosen the knot, make the adjustment, and then tighten the knot again. Okay. That's pretty simple. The hook, very durable. It's made out of metal, but it's coated in plastic and it's good. I don't think your horn's going to be coming off this thing. Now, the other thing too, that's really super important for me is that if I tend to move around a lot when I play and I don't want the strap falling off. So when I put this on and let me show you this right now, I'm just going to hook it around the back. That's, that's why it's called hooky, right? It's a hook to the back, just hook like that. And my hair is going to be a little bit in the way, but I'll get a little closer here, try to move it. Okay. So you see that it's not touching my neck. All right. It's kind of resting very close to, to the shoulder blades. All right. So keep that in mind. Now, those of us with long hair, just be careful when you bring it around the back, you may catch your hair and that actually is kind of annoying. Okay. So you hook it around the back. Um, if I'm playing and I'm bending over, it's not going to fall off. The horn is also not going to fall off this hook. That's important. Okay. That's, that's super important. Um, in terms of the sizing of this. So right now, they sell this in a medium and a large size. And, and quite frankly, I've got both and I'll tell you why in a second. Um, it's a little surprising because I look at both of them and they look like they're the exact same sizes, but the, this is the large, it's a little bit longer. Okay. And a little bit more proportion in terms of the hook, in terms of the, uh, the radius over here. All right. Now, initially Marcus sent me a medium cause I'm a small person. I'm petite. But, um, I said to him, it worked fine for me on the Alto. It actually was great on the Alto because I felt like, um, it was weightless. I did not feel the weight of the horn, certainly not on my neck. And it, I didn't feel it on my thumbs either. And I could, you know, uh, use my thumbs as levers as they're supposed to be when you're holding the saxophone. And I was, I had the freedom to move. Um, but when I tried that, that medium size strap for the tenor, I couldn't do it. So the thing to consider is the type of instrument that you're playing, alto or tenor. I don't think they have this for Barry yet, though you'll contact them if you have that question. Um, but for women, you know, with larger chests, this does kind of cut into you a little bit. 
I spoke to Marcus, the creator about that, and he said, well, you know, many women use it, but I find for me, it's actually a little bit of a deterrent. Okay, and let me uh, show you why. So I have this hooked up over here. I've got all the things hooked up. I've got my Trevor James custom signature raw. All right, and I'm not feeling the weight of the horn. Okay, it's comfortable. This strap is best designed for those folks who rest the instrument on their right thigh like this. It's actually perfect for that. And you know, when you're not moving, all right, I think it's, I think it's fine. Okay, let me try to move the hair a little bit so you can see, whoops, how this looks without some hair there. There we go. Okay, all right, so it's fine. Now, if you're the type of person that plays with the horn more straight. I tend to rest it on top of my right thigh like this. It's fine as long as I stay there, but I move around a lot. Okay. So I like to keep it there. Sometimes here, I like to hold it out. Here's where I have a, a little bit of a problem. And I think the fix is going to be that I would need to, um, adjust the strap a little bit add for a little bit more flexibility and, and movement, but I feel restricted. I can't get the horn to be so far out there. All right. So I'm thinking that it's a little bit of an adjustment with the strap with that. Um, so just one thing to keep in mind, but as a woman, the issue that I have for me is that I can't take a full breath with this. You see, when you breathe, you have to fill up your entire lungs, not just the bottom and certainly not just the top. And I feel like, I can't expand my lungs. Okay. Uh, fully. All right. So it's a little bit of a hindrance for me. Okay. Maybe not for you. I think, um, this is best designed for men. And like I said, I did speak to Marcus about this. Um, who he did say women are using it. So that's great. Um, but for me, I need a little bit more freedom with that. Perhaps if I held the horn definitely on my front thigh and kept it there, then I'll probably be fine because it won't, this piece over here, actually it's not even this piece, it's the aluminum tube that can't be adjusted. That won't be sticking into me so much. Okay. And, and even if I move my front right leg forward a little bit more, then it really doesn't cut into me. Okay. So some, a little, some little adjustments, um, for those women who want to try this, who are, you know, don't want the weight of the horn on the neck because the horn is just so heavy. Okay. Um, you know, who want to try something different. All right. Maybe the harnesses out there don't work for you. All right. Maybe you want a harness that is not so bulky. All right. This can fit underneath a suit. Sometimes I'll be playing weddings and I'll, I'll have on a suit, you know, so I could put this on and put the jacket over that. Okay. So that's super important as well. So the main con for me is just this aluminum tube just kind of sticks into me a little bit, but overall this does really take the weight of the horn off. Now, one thing I have to mention, this does not come in a carrying case and it doesn't fold. So that's probably the biggest drawback right now. And I spoke to Marcus about that as well. And he said, the problem is that you can't make this foldable or else it's going to ruin, um, it's going to ruin the design. It's, it's going to make it that much harder for this to really take the weight off, you know, your neck. So it has to be kept to this design for right now. Who knows? Maybe they'll come up with some kind of solution. So you're going to have to, this won't even fit in your case, not even in the outside pocket. So you're going to have to carry this in a separate bag, but you know what? Nowadays, so many people are going through, you know, a lot of neck pain, even shoulder pain, and they need a solution. And I think this is a, this is a good choice. You could definitely check this out. The information's in the show notes below. All right. Uh, there's purchase information and there's some really good information on there as well. I'll also have the, uh, website, the original, uh, um, owners of hooky H O O K I. They do have a website, but the main place to purchase is from Thoman music. And this is made in Germany. All right. So you're going to be, uh, you'll have to translate the website if you're, you know, from a different language. Um, 
but you know it's made in Europe it's made in Germany and so uh, you know you'll be speaking to those folks from there all right I hope that this product review will help you especially if you're looking for another alternative to a saxophone harness or neck strap you may want to try the hooky strap okay on that note thanks for joining me take care have a great day